World War I revealed the importance of close collaboration between the Armed Forces Medical Services. Two military doctors, the Belgian Major General Jules Vonken and the American Captain William S. Bainbridge, began working on the idea and became the founders of the International Committee of Military Medicine. Now, on the occasion of the centennial anniversary, Belgium is the host country of the ICMM World Congress 2021. The health and medical domain in the Belgian defense are dealt with at two levels. The Directorate General Health and Well-Being and the medical component. The Director General elaborates the defense, health and well-being vision and policy, applying a holistic, comprehensive soldier's fitness concept that focuses on deployment sustainability from a combined physical, medical, nutritional, psychosocial, behavioral and spiritual perspective. He also directs the Internal Health and Safety at Work Department and as such is responsible for occupational health and risk management within the forces. The medical component commander applies the above policy and converts it into genuine health care and medical support, as well as during training and both relief and expeditionary operations. He commands four deployable medical units, a competence center for medical education and training, and the unique military hospital in the country's capital city of Brussels. Innovative technologies and fundamental laboratory research are key elements for excelling in medical care. The 2021 World Congress will show how, from a 21st century perspective, military medicine grew out of the trenches of World War I to stand on the shoulders of giants. Under the overarching motto, Secure the Legacy, we have chosen the following four main Congress themes. The battle against infection and phage therapy, far forward surgery, from rehab to prehab, and finally, from shell shock to mental fitness. Phages, the viruses of bacteria, were discovered in the trenches of World War I, and military conflicts have been drivers for their development as antimicrobial drugs until penicillin, the first antibiotic, was synthesized as part of the Allies' efforts to win World War II. In the light of the current antibiotic resistance crisis, military medical leaders have put phages on the agenda for future research. To reduce combat mortality and morbidity, Advanced resuscitative procedures and hemostatic techniques and strategies, as well as blood products and genuine surgical skills by either surgeons or specially trained healthcare professionals, must be brought as close as possible to the point of wounding. Increased operations in austere environments and longer evacuation times require light, scalable, modular and flexible equipment and appropriate personnel with tactical and operational competencies. The burden of musculoskeletal injuries has always affected the readiness of the forces. Strategies to mitigate this issue have evolved over the years. From the first amputees of World War I being doomed with the remaining life of disability, to the patients with prosthetic limbs being able to run faster than organic athletes nowadays. The progress in trauma casualty care has led to fewer fatal injuries and therefore rehabilitation and even prevention of injuries have become paramount for the tactical athlete. The study and management of how soldiers think, feel and perform mentally has evolved to become a broader discipline akin to other areas of medicine. Just as in other areas of medicine, the emphasis is shifting towards prevention. Mental functioning has become the topic not only of clinicians and not only of mental health practitioners, but of a broad multidisciplinary community, ranging from physicians to engineers, from sports scientists to human factors specialists. 
and the spectrum of functioning has been expanded to include the optimum, which is what we strive for in our soldiers. The Belgian Defence is delighted to welcome you all to the ICMM World Congress 2021 in the beautiful setting of Brussels. So, ladies and gentlemen, all over the globe, we cordially invite you to come to Belgium and to attend the ICMM Centenary in Brussels. We are really looking forward to meeting you there.